Have you ever thought when shopping, where do these mannequins come from? Building a business treasure out of retail trash isn't something that Judy Townsend ever expected when she picked up a used mannequin for an art project. And as a USC graduate with a strong background in sales, Judy's no stranger to business, but she didn't know a thing about mannequins. Now she's got her hands full with a great business she calls Mannequin Madness. And I want to extend a big Kim Commando show welcome to the mannequin queen, Judy Townsend. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Now, did you ever imagine that you'd be running one of the biggest mannequin brokerage firms in the country? How did this all start? I didn't even know such an opportunity existed, <laughs> but it is a matter of just being aware of opportunities and being willing to say yes when an opportunity presents itself. So I always like store windows during the Christmas holiday season. And, and as most little girls, I played with Barbie dolls. So that was like the extent I ever got to thinking about something in the visual world. Now I play with Barbie dolls, life-size Barbie dolls all the time. So how many uh, mannequins do you have? More than I can count because mannequins, we consider mannequins are also things like legs and feet and hands and butts and torsos, every part of the body in addition to the actual mannequin itself. Easily, I have probably 500 here in my warehouse in Oakland, and then I also ship new mannequins that are imported from China. Those are shipped through distribution centers. So with retail sales going down, right, and your business is still growing, who's buying mannequins? Well, it's ironically that people have always been fascinated with the human form. So there are people that are doing interesting things with mannequins. Many times they're doing art projects with them. Burning Man and Halloween are very popular times where people are buying a used mannequin. A lot of times people want to mosaic a mannequin. They want to put it in their garden as a piece of garden art. Even though retail has gone down, there are more private individuals using mannequins for something creative or if they're selling their own clothes online. They may not need to buy five mannequins, but they want to buy one or two mannequins for their online stores. So I understand that um, some Instagrammers like to come over and take pictures with the mannequins. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes we've had what I'd call some uh, R-rated video uh, shoots here. For some reason, photographers love to have pictures of nude women pose among our nude mannequins. So needless to say, that's a day in which it's a private set and people rent out the whole warehouse. And sometimes the women are dressed, or should I say not dressed, but they're painted in a such a way that it look like body art. And sometimes they're just completely nude posing among the mannequins. So how much is a mannequin, Judy? How much do they cost? Well, mannequins are like cars, really. You can buy a Hyundai, you can buy a Mercedes. They all have the same basic functionalities. There are some mannequins you can buy for $100, and there are some high-end mannequins that cost thousands of dollars because of the craftsmanship, the level of details, the more realistic they look. Uh, sometimes just people like certain manufacturers because of the name. They're known for a certain quality or style. I'd say average probably around two, $300, but we have some mannequins that are made out of wood, real wood, and those go for thousands of dollars. Now in our used section, we sell things for half of what they would normally cost brand new. But like I said the range just depends on the style and the condition and the brand of the mannequin. So I'm, I'm just wondering, because I've seen this in the stores that you know mannequins used to be like these really thin women, right? And now mannequins, they look like real people. Very slowly, but surely. Fa mannequins are about fantasy, not anybody's reality. So in general, mannequins are always going to be tall, thin, young, and usually Anglo. Now, occasionally you'll see some deviation. You now occasionally will see some plus size mannequins, but they're really not really widely used. You do have mannequins now that have a little bit more curve in the backside, and maybe they'll have things, I hope I can say this, they may have nipples because people want to have like tight fitting outfits and they want to have it look more realistic. But in general, they're not about looking like anybody that we know. So what's next for the mannequin queen? Well, interesting. I've had to pivot my business just as, just as you said. Retail is kind of slowly changing. It's going into a, a metamorphosis and people don't do as many store windows. But instead, I'm finding that people do mannequins like I said, from different art projects. So, for example, floral headdresses are very popular now, especially in the Bay Area where they say if you go into San Francisco, wear flowers in your hair. <laughs> yes. And, and we have a workshop where we use mannequin heads as a canvas for people to make floral headdresses. So I, now I'm using my warehouse more as an art center where people can come in and they can make things or they can come and they can use it to photograph 
not just new women, but sometimes the people are photographing clothes that they're going to sell online. Or we do music, video shoots here. So we're using our warehouse as more of a creative space that has mannequins as sort of as the background, not so much the key focus. We even find that people like to do pet photography here because a lot of people have fur babies that they're trying to make Instagram influencers and they need unique photos. We have a lot of props here. So people rent out our photo studio with the props to take pictures of their fur babies. Well, see, now this is an interesting example of where you're taking a business where some people say, oh, you know, I can't sell mannequins anymore, but you're smart. Because if I've always said, if you don't innovate, then you're just going to evaporate. Absolutely. Well, necessity is the mother of invention. I can see the writing on the wall with so many of my normal large retail stores, you know, closing or just not using as many mannequins as they used to. And I thought, OK, I've got to do something here. So as I said, pivoting to both reach more private consumers versus retail owners for selling mannequins. As I said, using my space here, which I love to give you a tour of my space so you can see some of the other things that we use that repurposed our, just like my business about repurposing mannequins, I've had to repurpose my business mix. Yeah, Judy, let's do a quick tour. Show us around a little okay. bit. Okay, I'm in my office. So mannequins come in all different shapes here. Let's see. Here's my silent butler that's in my office. He has candy on his, that he's holding on his shelf. I'm going to come out to the front here. You can see a lot more of our mannequin heads with headdresses. And then people do things like this. Here's a mannequin that's turned into a TV monitor that they can use just to display images. And then more and more mannequins. You ask how many mannequins I have. Of course, there's things like mannequin hands. There's jewelry displays. There are mannequin legs. Okay, this is really mannequin madness. Now I see the madness. <laughs> yes, we certainly live up to our name. Here, once again, more mannequins. Then here's our photo studio back here. Wow. As far as you can see, like I said, it's called Mannequin Madness for a reason. It, I can see the madness. Well, Judy, <laughs> hey, thanks for sharing your story with us. Thank you for having me. You're pretty amazing. As I said to you before, and you're an example of it, if you don't innovate, you're just going to evaporate. And Judy is just an amazing example of that type of outside of the box thinking. And keep your digital know-how going with my free DIY videos and security tips and more interviews like Judy's on our YouTube channel. You can check it out at youtube.com slash Kim Commando. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.